In a land far, far away, there was a young girl called Cinderella. That day, Cinderella set out to go to the party organized for her birthday in the forest. But when she arrived at the party, she couldn't believe her eyes because everywhere was a mess and the dining table was empty. Oh no! What happened here? A mouse came forward and said, The lion took all our food and left. He also made a mess and ruined your birthday. We've never seen the lion this angry. Giraffe said, We weren't afraid of the lion for no reason. And Cinderella was thinking like, Hmm, but the lion must have a reason for doing this. When she set out to look for the lion, with that thought, the little mouse followed her with curiosity. After walking for a while, they noticed cotton candies flying with the wind. It must be this way, said the mouse. When Cinderella ran to where the mouse pointed, she saw the lion throwing the food he took from the party down the well. Moreover, the lion was angrily saying, Rawr! Here is some cotton candy. Let's see now how you party without me. As soon as the mouse approached the lion, he said, Lion, stop! Don't do it! The lion was startled by the sound, lost his balance, and fell into the well. When Cinderella bent down to help, she saw the lion clinging to the edge of the well with his nails at the last moment. Help! If I fall here, I will never get out! Please help! Cinderella, look! A rope! Cinderella tied one end of the rope tightly to a tree. The mouse threw its other end towards the lion. With difficulty, the lion held onto the rope and pulled himself up the well. Lion, why are you acting like this? I wasn't invited to the party because everyone is afraid of me and I spent all night baking a cake. Cinderella was very sorry for the lion. You're right, but the solution is not to break up the party. You almost fell into the well. Well, we can go talk to them if you want. The lion admitted that his behavior was wrong. When they arrived at the party area together, everyone who saw the lion started running away. Oh, oh my goodness, the lion is here! Stop! Everyone keep calm! You don't need to be afraid of the lion, he is good! The animals at the party stopped and looked for a moment and saw a huge cake in the lion's hand. They were very surprised and all of them said, Wow! Did he do this for our party? Mm, it looks so delicious! When Cinderella thereupon said, It is very important to know and understand others before being prejudiced against them. Remember this, my animal friends. All the animals apologized to the lion, one by one. And the lion apologized to them for throwing their food into the well. From that day on, no one treated anyone with prejudice. And they lived in the forest in joy and happiness. Cinderella and the Big Bad Wolf once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a very beautiful girl named Cinderella. With her blonde hair, beautiful eyes, and kind attitude, she was enchanting everyone in the castle where she was living. One day, Cinderella stood in front of the window of her room and looked at the beautiful view of the forest, and she saw a huge rainbow. Oh! Oh my, such a beautiful rainbow! I wonder what's at the end of the rainbow? Hmm. As Cinderella daydreamed of the beauty of the rainbow, her mouse hmm. friends, Mozzarella and Cheddar, came to her and oh. climbed up her shoulders. 
Cinderella, can you take us to that rainbow? Yes, 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 please. But I have never been to that part of the forest before. What if it's dangerous? A place with such a beautiful rainbow is surely not dangerous, I think. Yep, and don't worry. Chatter and I will protect you. The rainbow is all above. Your prince will give you love. So never give up believing. Two hearts are never leaving. Dream, Cinderella, dream. Your heart shines in the stream. Can we catch up with the rainbow before it disappears, Cinderella? If we go before the sun goes down, of course we'll catch up. After moving in the forest for a while, these friends who had set off with hope encountered a very cute hey. turtle. Aren't you Cinderella, the beautiful princess of our land? Yes, I am. We're on a quest. So tell me, what has brought you here? We're looking for a rainbow. We are curious about what beautiful things are at the end of it. Really? May I join you? Then a sweet rabbit raised his head among the trees. He also wanted to go to the end of the rainbow. Of course, come with us. So they continued to walk all together through the forest. A little ahead, they saw three squirrels running toward them. The squirrels looked very frightened and fussy. They continued running without noticing Cinderella and her animal friends. Hmm, the squirrels. Why didn't they greet us? They seemed scared. They wouldn't normally do that. I think they were running away from something. After a while, they saw a gazelle running in fright and they barely slowed him down. Cinderella, look, there's a scar on the gazelle's feet. Cinderella started to talk to the gazelle since she could speak with animals and understand them. What's going on, beautiful gazelle? Three squirrels have just passed us running for their lives. Is there danger in the forest? Gazelle whispered into Cinderella's ear and dashed away. Cinderella could not believe what she heard. Oh, what happened? What did our gazelle friend say? <gasps> the big bad wolf. What? Yes, the big bad wolf has started to attack all the animals in the forest. He even wants to supersede the lion, the king of the forests. This is so dangerous. We must go back to the castle immediately. No, there may be a lot of animals who need help in the forest. We must go and help them. All animal friends obeyed Cinderella and kept on moving together in the forest to stop the big bad wolf. When they had the wolf in their sights, the wolf was turning around the puma and fox he had captured, roaring loudly at them and trying to prove his power. I am the king of the forest now. I will even beat the lion soon. The whole forest will fear me. Look, even this giant elephant stands on one leg by my command. <laughs> Despite being strong and large animals, the poor elephant, puma, and fox were so scared that they could not open their mouths and say a word. <laughs> Tremble in fear. <laughs> As the wolf continued spreading fear, he took a step backwards and fell into a trap that hunters had left. Help! I am caught! Help me! Oh, don't leave me! Seeing that the wolf was vulnerable, Elephant, fox, and puma fled immediately. However, a little ahead, 
they encountered Cinderella and her friends. When the big bad wolf was about to harm the whole forest, he fell into the trap of hunters. Hunter's trap? It sounds like these hunters are more dangerous than the wolf itself. Cinderella's, Cinderella's right. Hunters, hunters are, are very dangerous. dangerous. So what? Are we going to help the wolf? Of course. What if it was you that was attacked by the big bad wolf? Come on. I have a plan. All the animals agreed with Cinderella and went to rescue the wolf. At that moment, they saw two hunters standing next to the wolf caught in the trap. Oh, I can't believe he wasted this trap for a wolf. Yes, I wish we could catch a fox, a rabbit, or a more delicious animal. <laughs> hmm. Maybe a bigger animal will be captured in our other traps. <laughs> what are we going to do with this wolf? Hmm. You see how dangerous hunters are for the forest. You're right, Cinderella. Come on, let's scare them and chase them away so that they could never harm any animals again. The friends of Cinderella and even all the other animals in the forest at that moment came together and started running towards the hunters. The hunters were oh, frightened at what they, they saw. Animals, so many animals, what they do here? No, no go stop. away! Run, run, Frankie! Run. And so they fled until they were out of sight. Cinderella and her mouse friends approached the trapped oh. wolf. Save me. Please, I beg you, save me. We will save you, don't worry. But on one condition. You will promise not to hurt anyone anymore. Yes, yes, I promise. I promise. Just please get me out of this trap. I won't harm another creature, not even an ant. Please, please. Oh. Believing the wolf, Cinderella and the animals saved him from the terrible trap. Good to be out of that trap. Thus, they understood that the most valuable thing in the forest was to protect each other and to protect their friendship. Oh, look! We're at the end of the rainbow now. Ooh! Ooh, pretty! At the end of that rainbow, Cinderella and her friends were very curious about what was at the end of it. There was nothing but kindness, friendship, and love. Cinderella and the journey to the dark wood. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there was a very beautiful princess named Cinderella. This princess had a fairy godmother named Liabel. From time to time, she would go under the hazelnut tree in the forest and have nice conversations with Liabel. One day, Liabel gave Cinderella a very important task. Cinderella, I have to give you something very important, but this must remain a secret between us. Cinderella was very curious. Then, the good fairy waved her wand and opened her palm. This, what is this? A thorny chestnut seed belonging to the evil fairy. You mean Kyrabel? Why do you have this, Liabel? The evil fairy does all her evils by drawing power from thorny chestnut seeds, Cinderella. So, you have to bury this seed somewhere she can't find it. But where can we bury the thorny chestnut seed? Oh, dear. Liabel told Cinderella about the mud castle in the dark wood. Bury this seed in a hole in front of the mud castle so that Kyrabel's seeds of evil will not bloom again. Cinderella nodded and left the hazelnut tree to set off as soon as possible. Cinderella first passed under three large trees with red fruit, according to the way the good fairy described to her to reach the dark wood. Then she quietly walked 
down a road full of snapdragons. Then she came across two large pillars. According to Liabel, as soon as I pass between these two pillars, I will have entered the dark wood. Cinderella gathered all her courage. One, two... Cinderella, wait! Cinderella paused for a moment and was delighted to see her mouse friends coming up to her. Oh, Cheddar, Mozzarella! You didn't think we'd let you go alone, did you? But you are so tiny. The dark wood can be so dangerous for such sweet mice. Don't worry. We can protect you and ourselves. Well then, my brave little friends, let's go. Cinderella ran between the two pillars, running with her mouse friends. Arriving exhausted and needing to catch their breath, as they entered into the dark wood, Cinderella was terrified when she opened her eyes, for lightning was flashing in the air. Big and terrible animals were walking around, and trees were on fire. Oh, Cinderella, this is a horrible place. Don't worry. We will go back as soon as we find the mud castle. Cinderella and her mouse friends started to search for that scary castle in the dark wood. At that time, the good fairy Liabel was about to be teleported to the world of fairies when the evil fairy Kyrabel suddenly appeared. I know you took the thorny chestnut seed, Liabel. You can no longer do evil. Tell me where is my dear seed of evil? The evil fairy was so angry that she tried to cast an evil spell with her magic wand, but failed. Your thorny chestnut seed is now in a place where no evil can sprout again, Kyrabel. Hmm, to sprout? Yeah. The only place a seed won't sprout is the dark wood. The good fairy tried to stop Kyrabel from leaving, but she couldn't. Kyrabel was quickly teleported to the dark wood. At that time, the hunters in the dark wood began shooting their arrows at Cinderella and her mouse friends, who were trying to find the mud castle. Hunter arrows! Quick, get down, my friends! Although there were many dangers in the dark wood, Cinderella ran quickly with her friends away from the hunters. Cinderella finally found the place of the mud castle. This must be the castle that the good fairy told me about. Come on, Cinderella. Let's bury the thorny chestnut seed here. Cinderella and Cheddar started digging a hole in front of the mud castle. Meanwhile, Mozzarella was carefully checking around. Oh, I see a very strange light up ahead. Hurry up. Then, the evil fairy Kyrabel appeared right in front of these good-hearted friends. Don't move. Oops, the evil fairy. Exactly. Now this evil fairy wants her thorny chestnut seed back. Right now. Never. Since the evil fairy could not cast an evil spell without a seed, she approached Cinderella and tried to scare her by flapping her wings around her. I said, give me back my thorny chestnut. Seeing this, Mozzarella jumped towards Cinderella and took the seed from her palm. She then threw it up, up through the air to her friend Cheddar, who caught the seed by jumping in the air and quickly buried it in the hole he dug. The wings of Kyrabel, whose seed of evil was buried in the hole, could not fly at that moment, and she fell to the ground. We did it! Yeah, Cinderella, let's get out of here! Cinderella and her mouse friends ran away from the mud castle. They passed between two white pillars deep in the dark wood, and finally returned 
to the safety of their castle's garden. The good fairy Lyabelle greeted them with joy. You have accomplished such a difficult task. I am proud of you and your little friends, Cinderella. Goodness is the most precious thing in the world, isn't it? <laughs> the fairy waved her magic wand and teleported Cinderella to a sweet reward. Cinderella, who did a very difficult job that day, made all her good wishes for the evil fairy to turn into a good fairy. Before long, a tree with huge white flowers grew where the thorny chestnut seed was buried. Seeing this, evil fairy Kyrabel set off again to look for other seeds of evil. One day, Cinderella noticed something strange in a secluded corner of the forest. When she got very close, she saw that it was a huge egg that was about to crack. Huh, I have never seen such a big egg in my life! Cinderella wandered around the egg to see if it had an owner. However, there was no one around. This can't be a chicken egg. Can't be a bird egg either. Hmm. Just then, Cinderella heard a crackling sound. The top of the egg cracked and the shell fell to the ground. While Cinderella was looking in surprise, a baby dinosaur came out inside the egg. <gasps> what? It's, it's a dinosaur! A baby dinosaur! The baby dinosaur was curiously looking at Cinderella. Although Cinderella was a little frightened at first, she gently gave her hand to him. The baby dinosaur brought his head under Cinderella's hand and wanted to make her love him. Oh, <laughs> how sweet you are! Then he jumped out of his shell and started to eat the small plants in front of him. Baby dinosaur, I don't know how or why you got here, but I need to get to your mother somehow. Meanwhile, the evil witch Xena's messenger owl saw all that was going on and immediately ran away. He came in a fury to Xena, who was casting a spell in the magic cauldron and perched on her shoulder. He told everything he saw in whispers. <laughs> what? I can't believe what I'm hearing! A dinosaur, huh? Moreover, with Cinderella! I need to get one of that dinosaur's tooth owl, do you understand? I can do my immortality magic with that tooth! <laughs> Cinderella and the baby dinosaur were on their way to the palace when Xena began planning to catch the dinosaur. I wonder if I took you to the palace first, do you think they would be too scared? The baby dinosaur was sweet, that's true, but he was always hungry. He was swallowing every plant he saw in one bite and growing bigger each time. Oh wow, you're growing up a little fast, aren't you? This rate, you will not leave any plant or fruit in the forest. The baby dinosaur ran under an apple tree he saw. When he started to shake the tree with all his might, the apples fell to the ground. As the dinosaur ate the apples, he got bigger and bigger. He was almost twice as big as Cinderella. Huh. I think I better ask Lyabel for help. While the dinosaur was eating the apples, Cinderella ran under the hazelnut tree a little further away and touched the tree and called to the good fairy. Lyabel, Lyabel, come wherever you are. At that moment, the surroundings shone brightly and Lyabel appeared before her. Lyabel, I need your help. Of course, Cinderella. Tell me, what kind of help do you want from me? 
Cinderella pointed to the dinosaur just ahead. Lyabel was so surprised to see that. No way! We must send this dinosaur back to his own time, to the age of dinosaurs. The age of dinosaurs? Yes, otherwise he will continue to grow at such a rapid rate. We must also protect him from people who would want to harm him. But how will we send him to his own time? The good fairy Lyabel waved her magic wand three times clockwise. Thus, a time portal was opened in the middle of the forest. Cinderella took some apples and tried to lure the dinosaur towards the passage. I can only keep the passage open for a certain period of time, Cinderella. You must hurry. But at that moment, Xena appeared in front of Cinderella in a magic ball. Stop! That dinosaur will come with me! Ha! <laughs> no! Evil witches like you should stay away from him! Although Cinderella tried to bring the dinosaur closer to the passage with apples, Xena first tied the magic rope in her hand to her own wrist and then threw the rope around the dinosaur's tail. The owl, on the other hand, snatched the wand from Lyabelle's hand with the fury. No! Give it back to me! Uh, otherwise the passage will be closed forever! Owl, ignoring the good fairy, brought the wand and placed it in Xena's hand. <laughs> what will you do now, Cinderella? Zena was both trying to pull the dinosaur towards herself with the magic rope and also trying to close the passage with Lyabelle's wand. Don't go, dinosaur! Stop! I will never make it! As the dinosaur was getting closer and closer to Zena step by step, a strong and strange noise was heard from inside the passage. Huh? What is that strange noise? Uh, what is going on? Where is this scream coming from? It's... it's a dinosaur song. Mother dinosaurs make this sound to call their baby dinosaurs. The sound is coming from the other side of the passage. When the baby dinosaur, hearing his mother's voice, started to run towards the passage, Xena, who was tied to him with the rope, had to follow him. Oh, stop! Where are you running, dinosaur? Ah! Thus, the baby dinosaur and the evil witch Xena went through the passage that was about to be closed to the age of dinosaurs. Staring behind them, Cinderella and Lyabelle didn't know what to do. We did it! The baby dinosaur is finally home! Yes, but not alone! <laughs> when Xena suddenly found herself in the age of dinosaurs, she was overjoyed at first. Because she has seen a lot of dinosaur teeth around. Ah, here is a dinosaur tooth! <laughs> <laughs> Wait for me, immortality spell! But she didn't know how to return because the passage was closed. Uh, uh, how am I gonna get back now? Oh no! Help! I can't cast a spell here! It's impossible! Oh! When Xena noticed that the mother dinosaur was approaching her, she started to run away in fear. Get me out of here! Oh! I don't want to! I don't! The baby dinosaur was back in the age of dinosaurs. Lyabelle was back in the fairyland. And Cinderella was back in her palace. Because everyone can be happy where they're with their loved ones. One day, Princess Cinderella went out for a walk in the forest to pick some cranberries. After filling her basket with tiny cranberries, she heard a strange sound. Help! Who's that? 
and where is that voice coming from? When Cinderella looked up, she saw a huge elephant flying overhead. What? A flying elephant? Crazy! How does this happen? Help me! I can't move down! The elephant had shot up into the sky when her rope broke during a circus performance in the forest. Although her friends tried to help, they could not reach her because Cinderella is a princess who has the ability to talk to animals. She immediately called the elephant. Hey, elephant, I can help you. Cinderella? Oh, please hurry. I'm afraid of heights. Cinderella whistled loudly and summoned a tiny white pigeon. She asked her to help the elephant with the other pigeons. The little pigeon took flight and went to call her friends. Meanwhile, the sun was so hot in the sky that the elephant was afraid that the balloon she was attached to would melt and fall to the ground. I wish the clouds would block the sun a bit and protect my balloon. I'm so scared. While the elephant was hovering anxiously, a flock of white pigeons approached her. The pigeons flapped their wings and tried to carry the elephant, but she was so big that they barely made a difference. When Cinderella realized that the pigeons could not help, she asked for help from the frog Tiddalik, who was always near the lake, enjoying the water. Mm -hmm. uh, I now I am so busy, Cinderella. Oh, delicious water. I love water, you know. But please, Tiddalik, only you can save her. When Cinderella told him how to save the elephant, the frog was fascinated by her idea and eventually jumped onto the wings of the white pigeon. The pigeon brought Tiddalik to the elephant. Don't be afraid. Now you will land softly like a cotton ball. Like a balloon. Tiddalik filled his mouth and stomach with air and asked the elephant to hold his leg. A few pigeons also supported them. Then the time came for a pigeon to pop the balloon to which the elephant was tied. Uh, are you sure? Will this plan really work? Yes, don't be afraid, elephant. Trust them. The moment the pigeon burst the balloon with its beak, the frog Tiddalik started to carry the elephant. Cinderella admired how the animals all worked together like a family. Slowly, with very small breaths, the frog brought the elephant back to the ground safely. <sighs> the elephant was so happy that she immediately hugged Cinderella. Thank you, Cinderella. If you hadn't noticed me, that balloon would have burst and I would have fallen to the ground. <laughs> You're fine now. But you have to thank not only me, but also Tiddalik and the pigeons. After the elephant kissed the pigeons with her trunk, she gave to the frog Tiddalik his favorite thing. Water! <laughs> I was already very thirsty again. Ah. <laughs> <laughs>